the early hours of Thursday morning, a few students placed a flaming barricade on South Street, which was soon extinguished. Another group of protesting students mobilized up the hill and were inside dining halls and rezas attempting to gain numbers. By 10 a.m. there was heavy police activity with vehicles of different kinds driving off and on campus. Students next attempted to shut down the library but found the door locked. They then moved to occupy the admin building. Most of the building's entrances were locked by the protesters as police vehicles, including a water cannon vehicle, gathered out front. Students settled in the foyer of the admin building to talk with concerned staff. There are other concerned staff who are right behind the school for free education. And we want that to happen. We want that pressure to be put on the state and we want our management to stand with us. Yes. Yes. The university is invited, the academics, the support staff, the workers and the students to put pressure on our government to make more funding available so that people can be educated without crippling themselves financially. We're going to be fighting amongst ourselves here with our fighting those who can actually so what we really want is, so the statement was the first step, we wanted them to go out and to get support for it from the help, from the tail, from the student bodies, both the SRC and the ones who are not feeling represented by the SRC. At the end of the meeting with concerned staff, the group spoke with the members of the SRC that were present. some of the demands that we have, right? So for example, like putting pressure on tax for corporates, for example, on rich families in this country. There are families just a fair bit in this country have a ridiculous amounts of generational wealth that comes from colonialism or home time. So we need to be taxing those people, right? I would really, really like that to push that management. This is a state institution. They don't get to operate as if they aren't in South Africa, right? So what Dr. Mabizela has access to the, to the minister. He needs to use that access to put pressure to get free education, to have a conversation about free education, not a conversation about a 0% here. Even if we decide, okay, 2017, the interim plan is a grading scale of some sort where specific, like a group of people get free, they don't pay anything, but like how people decide to grade it, right? So I need a plan Next year. A meeting was set to be held with the representatives of the students, management and concerned staff in the afternoon. Meanwhile, on the request of Nehau, the group mobilized to shut down dining halls so that the kitchen staff members could join the protests. For Activate, this has been Chloe Osmond.